Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is American Horror Story Freak Show, and this is episode 8. Now, we've been gone for two weeks. So I've been in mourning for Ma Petite for two weeks. Okay, because that's the last that we saw. That goddamn Dale had killed Ma Petite, and I was pissed when I was sitting there and the show was over for the week, and then I knew we had two weeks to wait. Because of the Thanksgiving holiday. But any, anyway, we're back. And I'm still pissed off. Because nothing else actually happened. Other than they went like on a man, a man hunt. Looking for Ma Petite. Nobody knew what happened to her or where she was. So they had to go looking for her. And um, Dale was literally leading the search. Leading the search. It was terrible. But um, they go ahead on. Of course, Jimmy finds her, and um, I don't know what he did to her, but she was all balled up. She's all bloody, and they, you know, they went with, oh, it looks like an animal got to her, and this, that, and the other. When they went back to the camp, Elsa um, was really carrying on, and I honestly believe for the first time, someone actually was killed that meant something to her. I believe she she actually loved Mom because it was like a baby. Especially her because she was always swaddling her and, and carrying on like that. So she took it really, really hard. Um, funny thing was, Ethel didn't buy it. The bearded lady, she didn't buy it. She went up in that tent and she told her all about it. She said, oh, you put on a wonderful performance. You know, this, that thing, and the other. And they were going back and forth because remember... Ethel heard her make a deal with the devil, that damn Stanley, about, um, who was it? Was it the twins? I'm trying to think, was it the twins? I think it was the twins. Yeah, the twins. Um, anyway, she heard her make the, the deal with him and everything about getting rid of him and all of that stuff. And, um... She heard that, and she just doesn't trust her anymore. And they went around and around and around, and she ended up, um, they had it out. She shot Elsa, and shot her in the leg, and it just made a hole. That bitch didn't even stumble with them old wooden-ass legs. And um, that's what she actually figured out, that Elsa was actually a freak like everybody else. And everything, and she, you know, she ended up telling her her story. She basically let her know, well, bitch, I'm going to kill you tonight. I'm fucking you up tonight. So you going to say all this is that you want to say and tell me all the things that you ever told me, bitch, because I'm fucking you up tonight. So she said, well, let's have a drink for old time. You know, this, that, and the other. She literally went ahead on and fell for the bullshit. And Elsa, she says, we never drank drank together before you drank, but we never drank together. Honey, she took and grabbed that knife for that cake plate and gave her, honey, and, and I don't know why she even fell for because you know the bitch throws knives. She threw it right through her eye, fucked her up. I said, oh, well. So she fucked up poor uh, Ethel. Ethel's down and out now, too. Then she... Went back in, and you see her, they put hers up, staged it as a suicide. She took a car, wrapped the chain around her neck, wrapped the chain around the a, a, a tree, and then drove it and hung her. Bullshit. But her and uh, Stanley playing that, oh, and she really carried on at that when they went, went looking and they found her. And come back to what they had found her and what happened to her. Oh, Elsa really performed then. Just a damn mess. A damn mess. Um, in the meantime, in between time, Gloria is at the therapist's office. And she's steadily talking, you know, to the therapist about what's going on with Dandy and this thing, that thing, and the other. Then they told a story about when he was young and he was tying, uh, Gabby Ray's character, um, oh, what is her, what's her name? Regina. Tying Regina up to the chair and shit, and, um, I killed the cat, 
then he when he ended up getting to be like older, he was like older, like maybe 19, 20, somewhere in there. He's play used to play with the neighbor's son, then the son just disappeared. So the therapist was pushing toward um a lockup, baby. She were, he wanted the 302. And she's like, no, 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 you know, this, that, thing, and the other. In the meantime, Gabrielle, I keep calling her Gabrielle, Regina actually shows up and she's looking for her mother. She wants to know, where's my mother? She told her something lie about her going on this expedition type of shopping trip. And, oh, girl, she should be back soon. So she said, well, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait for her. <laughs> I'm going to wait, bitch. And so that was going on over at their house. Regina then bombarded Dandy with questions, and he's telling the mother, you know, she's um asking questions, and she's not trusting any of my answers, and your lies that you're telling her are going nowhere with her. She's too smart for that. That's bullshit, and it ain't working. So she ends up going, and um, she goes to see Dr. Feinbloom again. And um, Dandy goes and sees Dr. Fanbloom. Child Dandy serves psycho cunt in his purest form, honey. He was, they were showing him pictures he was giving. Oh, yeah, that's a man stabbing somebody. Oh, that right there, that's somebody with their arms off. Oh, he was just carrying on. Just his nutball. And um, the man was giving, uh, uh he need locked up. And told uh, the mother over the phone, you know, I I'm afraid for your safety. You know, this, that thing, and the other. Dandy's mother, oh, no, I couldn't do that. This, that thing, and the other. I just couldn't. And on, on, and on, and on. Oh, and he also told him something about reading up on some pygmies and, and all these different tribes and how they do all these things and these rituals and taking, you know, if you take a blood, take a blood bath, take a bath in blood of your enemy that you drain their strength. And if you eat them, you know, this, all this shit. He was telling the doctor he was reading. He told him. I fear for you. I really do. Um, you need to commit Dandy. Um, child Gloria, coming found Gloria and his father were actually second cousins. That's why he's all fucked up. And he was saying that Dora actually had told him that when he was five years old. He's like, Dora told me all of this when I was five. This, that thing, and the other. Child, so he told his mother, I want you to kill Regina. Because she's going to try to have, she's trying to pin something on me. But I want you to kill her. And he said, and if you don't, and they said, me to the electric chair, I'm taking you with me to sit on my lap. So that was that. And then after a little bit more time went by, she brought gifts and all this. The girl came back in. Uh, Regina told him, you know what? My mother better be showing up soon or I'm going to the police. This, that thing, any other. I don't know what tipped Dandy off, but the next thing you know, baby, he literally sat there and played this game, told her, oh, I can't take this anymore, this, that, thing, any other. So his mother, he got this shotgun up to his head, um, a little pistol up to his head, and his mother's like, no, I don't do that, Dandy, I couldn't live without you. He said, well, on second fire, and he took, and he capped the shit out of her, and he killed her. Killed her, and took a bath in her fucking blood. Crazy motherfucker. Crazy laying up there in that tub of blood. He's he's horrible. And now he's on his own. I don't know what the fuck he's going to do now. So that's the last we've seen of him. Let me go back. Um, When they had the funeral for Ethel, Elsa didn't go. Elsa done went shopping, basically. She done went on out to a fat farm. Found this girl, rich girl. She's a debutante. She's in there. I don't even know if you all remember these, but I remember these little things where you they put it around your waist and it gyrates back and forth and it's supposed to shake the fat off. That shit don't work. But this, this big bitch was on there. This bitch was 800 pounds. Big as shit. She looked like four double door refrigerators sat up together with a dress on it. She was ridiculous. Elsa went on out there, sweet talked her, kept on eating this Babe Ruth candy bar. I said, that bitch don't hear nothing that Elsa's saying. All she's seeing is that ain't that damn candy bar. Every time she chews, she's like... I said, look at her, fat, greedy motherfucker. But she um, ended up talking her into coming on out to the, the tents with her. 
and gets there and tells um she's gonna introduce her to um Jimmy talking about look at that bosom that you could bury your head and now that your mother's dead. And they're gonna tell her, her name is Barbara, but her stage name is Emma Wiggles. <laughs> Emma Wiggles. She's named after um the the fierce I'm a Wadler. I said, see, you know, she clowns. She really, really clowns. But Jimmy was like, girl, whatever. But he ended up taking to her and going over there laying on them big old titties. Where I, and I mean, when I tell you this girl was big, she was huge. When she sat around the table, she fucking sat around the fucking table. Big motherfucker. But anyway, moving on. Um, All the girls had gotten together. You know, the lady with the half body, the really big drag queen. Um, the new snake girl, Python girl, or whatever she is, the the candy striper girl, her and uh, Desiree, and they just decided, you know, they're not taking this anymore. The girls are really biting the dust, and this just ain't working. Ethel's dead, my petite is dead. You know, this shit ain't working. Something's going on, and everybody's just really attacking the girls, and they ain't having it. So they made this plan that they was gonna fuck up. The girl's dad. So they went and they broke into the house and all that. They accosted him. Brought him back to Desiree's apartment. Or Desiree's tent. Poured hot tar on his ass. And then threw feathers. Or tar and feathered him. And they were going to cut his dick off. And of course you know Desiree was like the one that was going to do it. So they went into all that. Um, Esmeralda. The crystal ball bandit. She found him. Talked them out of it, and um, they basically let him go and told him, you know, don't you come back here fucking with us, because if you come back this way, we will fucking kill you. His daughter told his ass that. We will kill you. If you come back this way fucking with her, we're going to kill you, bitch. And that was basically it. Um, and that's kind of where we actually left off for this episode. A lot going on as usual, but not as much. You know, we're really tying up a lot. We're getting toward the end, I believe, because we're tying up a lot of different storylines, and um, it's not being as hard to follow as it's been, which is really making this a lot more interesting, because it was kind of hard to follow at first. I was trying to keep everybody together and keep the storylines together. Now we're, like, literally going through their storylines, and it's tying up. Um, the, I'm enjoying that because it's, it's actually easier to watch at this point. You know, you can actually really relax and really take it all in at this point. But the only bad thing is that you know it's going to be coming to an end soon. So, whatever. But next week's going to be really, really good. I'm not going to go into it, but there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going on next week. So, y'all come back, and I'll meet you here, and we'll do this again next week. All right, guys, you can thumbs up or thumbs down the video. You know how that works. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.